Who goes there? Well, hello everyone! My name is Pazu, welcome to Dark Parables, the Swan Princess and the Dai Tree. And welcome everyone in the chat right now here on YouTube. And once again, I won't be able to read the chat right now because of a technical problem, but um, I'm sure you guys will still have a good time. Yeah, check among yourselves while you watch me play. So here we go. Welcome everyone here tonight. Let's start this game right now. The Swarm Princess. Yeah, I remember there were two swans last time, right? A black swan, the one in the opening, and also the white swan, the princess. Black Swan, the suspect. Chapter 1. Okay, I think we need to help this guy now. He's slipping into the crack. Help me, please! I'm barely hanging on! I know, I know. Whoa, whoa! Help! I can't hold on much longer okay uh let me see what can i do did he pull you back up uh, i need something to help me reach him maybe i could use my horse to pull him out use the horse uh the reins yeah let's cut that off come on hurry got it Pull me up! Come on, be a good boy. <laughs> Pull this guy up. Thank you. I'm Desmond McBride, Master Tailor of the Highest Order. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have been able to answer the princess's summons. She knows I'm the perfect person to fix those strange cracks, and I certainly saw firsthand how dire the situation is getting. You fix cracks and you fell into one. <laughs> How ironic. But actions speak louder than words. Let me patch up this crevice. Ready to see a master at work? Be my guest? Showtime! Come on, impress me. That was pretty awesome. See? A masterpiece in the blink of an eye. With my help, the princess will restore her kingdom in no time. There's just one problem. And that is... I got this letter from the princess, but I can't tell from it how to get to the dire tree. Maybe you'll see something I don't. And then we can be traveling companions. Okay, let's take a look. I'm glad I could help him, and I'm sure he can help me too. <laughs> it's a good trade. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have been able to answer the princess's summons. Okay, let's take a look. What kind of letter is this? Those are runes. Perhaps it's magically encrypted. I see words. Yeah, magical words. 
Master Taylor, your fame spreads far beyond the borders of Thy Island and requests an immediate audience. Only you can save my kingdom. This will show you the way. The Swan Princess. Ooh. Okay. So that is it. Any hidden directions inside? No? Oh, whoa! whoa. Swan Prince has put a lot of faith into this young man. He must be very capable. And what is this? An eye. Okay. <laughs> the legendary Dai tree in the background is home of the Swan God. What about the princess? Does she live inside the tree? The Swan Kingdom welcomes you. Swear your allegiance to the goddess or turn back now. Ooh, that sounds like a warning, guys. <laughs> very die warning. So Ego and Fancy though. All missing so the whole system shut down. Now it looks like these orbs they are embedded onto this post. This guy post. Hmm. Alright, let's go this way. High point. Legends say that some members of the Swan God can transform into swans. Yeah, we just saw a transformation. <laughs> the Black Swan transformation. Old fountain, stand dry. It's waiting for rain. We do have some water. Water jug. Is it enough? And what is that? Come on. Show me the prom. <laughs> Ego. Okay. Need to get rid of the vines. A coin? Yep, a swan. Now, shape like the eye, just like this one. You know, this world looks so magical with the tree and the moon. Uh, but that is some sort of scouting device. It's a magical world. These rules, I've seen them before. The prince has used them in the letter. Okay, let me take a look at the letter again. Or oh, is it my journal? Do I have a journal or not? I don't have a journal! <laughs> so how do I do this? I don't remember what they look like. Or Oh, connect them all! Okay! <laughs> Put them into one. Now, need a lens to find a path to the Dai Tree. A new lens. A Swan God banner. Maybe I'll find more information about my mission here. Swan God. The guard post. Alright, our first hidden object scene. And just like other blue tea games, we are gathering components and turn them into one single object, combine them into one. We're making a a bear, a bear emblem. A symbol, I suppose. Yeah, they're hiding very well. Okay, just a few more. Uh, the two brown pieces, where are they? Hmm. Can I use a hint? <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's use one. Oh! Alright, round pieces. That's one. That's one more. One more to go. That looks like the piece, but uh, no. <laughs> oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Now, a bear. Looks more like a squirrel. <laughs> but uh, it is a bear. The lamb's missing a piece, a sun. Uh, Silver Swan, the swan god, was formed to protect the goddess. She keeps balance throughout the kingdom. 
So Silver Swan, the first of the Swan Dart. Oh, so they have different colors. <laughs> Silver Swan. Maybe there's a Golden Swan. And rainbow color ones. <laughs> Okay, Bear and Ego. Now, the Sun, the Sun Emblem. Unpolished Lens. Can I use the banner perhaps? <laughs> White paint. No? Can't use a lens yet, but uh, the sun. And a lantern. What else? Polishing stone. Use it on the lens. It's a stone. How does it work? It clears away the scratches. Wow. Magical. <laughs> use a stone on the glass lens. Wow. So it's going, it's not going to activate on its own. What do I need? Uh, the tree. Use a looking glass to find the path to the dying tree. Select the landmarks that match the symbols on the outside of the stone. And when the correct landmark is selected, its matching symbol will light up. Okay, so we're looking for the symbols on our way to the tree. Meet up for gates. That one. Uh huh. Follow the path. The tower post. Now, another one. Castle. Or oh, fortress. Oh, that's the castle, okay. Now, a dead tree. A dried up tree. <laughs> stones, double stones. Pretty easy. No, all the way to the night tree. So that's our path. The orb can show us the way, and I know where to use it. The guard post. Ah, uh, yeah. The light is guiding us. Excellent work. There's not a moment to spare. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> my traveling companion, let's go. What is your name, by the way? One hour later, <laughs> an hour hike. Finally, the Dai Tree is even more impressive up close. This looks so magical. <laughs> a fantasy world. The Dai Tree spreads throughout the island. All the island's vegetation is closely tied to it. Magically tied. This world is so colorful. Uh, standing at the ancient crossroads, and this road sign from long ago. It's a road sign. How is this a road sign? <laughs> and those lucky charms. Hmm, some bracelets on the post. 